No touching. And this fight is on and popping. Round one. Micah just dancing on the outside. Nasty leg kick from Kabangu. Turns the assassin around. But now Juan coming forward. A little advice coming from the crowd there with like a kick to the head. Before, let's see if he's able to enact anything from his back as Kabangu oh, is in nasty. a great spot. And here comes the big firepower, those big sledgehammer shots. That was a big elbow and some nice follow-up shots from Kabangu. Juan's just controlling the back of the head. That big one right from Kabangu just whistled past the left ear of Bazadenhout. Just want to go to the body now as Kabangu. Just a left forearm. Short the elbow first. there by Boyka Kabangu, and here he follows it up with a little bear on the ground and pound. And Jean Bezaino just trying to stay calm there on bottom. Doesn't seem to be in any danger of a submission right now as Boyka just on top using all of his energy. One thing that uh, Bezaino has over Kabangu is that experience and where Boyka Kabangu is trying with everything that he has to throw those punches. He's using a lot of energy. These are big boys. Yeah, there's left elbows starting to grind on the face of Bezaden Hurt from Kabangu. Just using that left forearm to continue well, this. Simon, he's not only doing that, he's bouncing his head the off of the canvas. He is, and Bezaden Hurt's still in it. Craig is looking very closely. Some big shots coming in now for Kabangu. He's starting to go oh, to work. there it is. Bezaden Hurt needs to get out of this. He's covering up. He's trying to just hip escape as much as he can. Caban continues just to hunt him down and just get the shots down as much as he can. How is Bezaydeno still in this? Man, what a show of attrition here by Jean Bezaydeno, able to take this damage. Uh, like you said, trying to get out of the position. Kabangu continues to hammer away at him. Still oh, has a ton of shots. energy. Hammer shots. Full mount now. Always no still in half. Is he just going to like take all those shots and let Kabango shoot his wide? As that right elbow comes down on the side of the head of Bezaydenhout. And he's slowing down now as Kabangu. Jean Bezaydenhout looks like he's a bit... He's, is he out? He's fighting. I think he's done. He's trying to step away. I think Jean Bezaydenhout might be out. He's very, very close. The referee's still looking Boyka very, very just closely. Needs to keep throwing. Oh, he's taken so many elbows, but the power seems to come out of it now. Zayden is just wincing away, but trying to wipe something out of his eyes as Kabanka continues with those little elbows. As I said, the power's left him a little bit, but just the amount of attrition of those shots. I don't know how Zayden is still in this. I mean, he's not really covering up much. He's trying to get up. And Boyka's Kabanka... not getting a lot behind those punches right now either. He's definitely losing a lot of steam. He's going to have a hard time if it does go to the end of the round. We still have a minute to go. You can tell, using a lot of energy right now is Kabangu. Can just the assassin to... survive until the end of the round? It'll be a remarkable feat if he does. He's just trying to turn in a little bit, and he's reversed Kabangu. Because Hayden Hurt's now on top oh, in side that. control. And he's got own elbows are coming down now. Kabangu's covering up with yes. 30 seconds left in the first. Now he's taking the back. But Hayden Hurt's starting to get his shots off as Kabangu's just covering up with very little defense. Where did this come from? Jean Bezaydeno with this huge burst of energy. Oh, big 20 shots seconds. From this might be a massive Hutt. comeback here, Simon. The referee's looking One closely. after another, 17 seconds. Unbelievable. And he's oh, taking all the damage. Wins. That's it. Unbelievable. What a performance from Jean Bezaydeno to take the win out of that. Amazing. Wow, massive comeback. That was incredible. He just took damage for about two and a half minutes straight. And then he gets this burst of energy and finishes Kabangu. And Kabangu was just absolutely worn down. And we talked about it. it it's the experience. It's being in wars before, being in there with top talent. And tonight it paid off for Jean Bezaydenot, who is able 
to pull off the victory. One of the wildest highlights that we've ever seen. And now it's just setting in for Boyka Kabangu. Very disappointed. But more than that, absolutely 150% exhausted right now. Yeah, Kabangu just collapses to the ground after both lads embracing. But how did Juan Bezaydeno take all those shots? At some point, Cyrus, you were saying that he, he's out of it because he really didn't have any defense going on. He wasn't able to control Kabangu, you know, as, as much as he did for the most of that ground and pound. And he was just flailing around and was taking those shots. But it's just the tide was turning when the power went out of Kabangu's elbows and Bezaydeno just sense the fact that he can actually still has a chance and came back with an absolutely fantastic reversal i hope we see it because it was just pulling it out of the the bag of hurt for juan bezahedino you can see the ground and pound for kabangu was just incessant went down to the body at times and then mix it up to the head with the elbows and there it is Beautiful reversal from Bezadenhout. Kabanga didn't know what to do as the ground and pound started coming down. And how Bezadenhout had the cardio to carry on with these shots after that kind of beating is it's beyond me. Absolutely incredible. You see the mouth guard for Kabanga comes out as Bezadenhout just goes to work. Incredible. You can see how yeah, much that means. Fantastic work there. Joan Bezadenhout. What a celebration. What a massive moment in the career. As he nears the age of 40, Juan Bezaydeno can definitely put that one um, right there up on the mantle, put that in the memory bank, because that was a special, special moment in his career. And it looks like we have Hotso ready to make it all official. So let's go to Hotso. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give these two warriors a big round of applause. Referee Preggy Valietta must call the stop to this contest at 4 minutes and 47 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by TKO due to strikes, the assassin, John Bersadenot. Juan, I, I, I don't think I've seen anything like that before in any fight, let alone a heavyweight. How hurt were you when he was on top of you with that ground and pound? I mean, I think if it carried on for another... 30 seconds before he gassed, he would have had me. Um, hey, but the tables can turn and one punch can change it. You said you're going to see something different. Was that what we expected from you? You said we'll see something different. You've taken a year out, year and a half out. You're now training with Anthony Kessler in Cape Town. What can we expect from the assassin? And was that the something different that you promised? Um, no, that's actually unsuspected on the ground game. Um, we were hoping for a gas tank fight three rounds with the monster and uh, yeah, hopefully no more prelims. Are we gonna expect to see you back here real soon because we waited a long time for you to come back. Let's book July. We've got no problem with that. You'll win a lesson, gentlemen. Incredible performance from Juan, the assassin with Zayden Hope.